What's up guys? This is the Brokeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Mysorian Empire. So to pick up where we left off, the garrison at Strasbourg is sallying. They are heavily depleted, significant amounts of artillery. Let's uh let's get ready to defend. Um so yeah, I'm I don't know if Strasbourg will fall this turn or not. If the even if it doesn't fall, I think I will continue sieging just because I want to uh, want to really delay how long it will take. It will really delay a war with Prussia. That would be my preference just because they have a, a lot of firepower and we need to be we need to be ready. So minimal casualties and plus you've got Württemberg to the east. Württemberg they do love churning out stacks and stacks and stacks of chaff and uh, they can wear you down especially when you don't have quickline. So I mean we're in this is a hmm. Good position to build a castle. Either way, we want to be back. They've got lots of howitzers, and if they don't deploy outside of the walls, we have to spend a good chunk of time waiting for them to uh, figure out what it is they're going to do and then head our way. So, let's form up. Guns might be useful, but it remains to be seen. If they deploy outside the walls, we're going to storm up. Inside it is. Yeah, so speed up time. Actually, I might move you guys out of the way. Yeah, so they're pushing up to how it's arranged. Not a not a lot I can really do about that. Just accept the casualties. Interesting that you elected to uh, trundle forward a bit. Where are they going to shoot automatically then? They're trying to do counter battery work. Good on them. I've limited these guys up and turned these guys' fire at will off so I can get this gun team back behind the line. But let's keep speeding up time because until the enemy comes out to fight us, all we can do is just sit here getting shelled. Knocked out one gun. Well, I've just translated the problem. Okay, let's, let's just get you out of the way completely. Pull back behind the guns and then go over here. Okay, now they're actually coming out to play. push up I may elect to get a desert warrior unit just to run all the way to the gatehouse here to try and take it They're going to open up first. Going to want to get my general up here. We may get, may have morale problems thrust upon us. Yes, already. Begin engaging yourselves.
Okay, let's send some Sipahi in just to disrupt this enemy's attack. Push you to mow down the riflemen. Oh, did you get quick climbed? I think you got quick climbed. In which case, this unit break away, secure the gate, secure a position on the wall. This is what I was hoping to see. But you may secure a position on the gate, or you're likely... I'm not sure what it was that caused you to be upset. Probably some friendly fire. Yeah, more quick climb. Scale the wall now while you can. There's a warrior run to the rear. Infantry guards are against a line infantry unit, so that should be okay. Here comes the enemy cavalry. See, we're getting quick lined all over the patch. So you guys are going to get the order to secure the gate. Oops, knees. Radio. So, e men are also going to cover the gate in the event that one of our attacks fails. New men push into that combat. Get more quick climb. Excellent charge out attack the general. Go over to that gate. Yeah, they're throwing a lot of quick blind at us. Can we just throw our elephants in there? Capture the gatehouse, horsemen, get in here and attack these howitzers. Same with these pahi. Look at that. Blah. Whole lot of Israeli dead. You men run around the rear. Switch to the bayonet. Maybe go for the general's bodyguard, so if we kill him, lots of these other units will fall. Stop the artillery from firing, and as is tradition, the AI is struggling to get through the gates. See, look, they're stacking up, and they're like, come on, open. These are our gates. So much so, let's get the guys that we've used to capture the gates off the walls in the event that the cavalry just screws up. Now we destroyed an enemy fortress section. It's still screwing up. That's that even with even with Empire's pathfinding, that's a bit weird. Because normally the gates do open after not very long. There we go. Just 
push up our defenses here. You men all go and attack the garrison guards, elephants as well. You men clear out the 22nd, you men get the 6th. So make sure we kill artillery teams. One last gunner. He's dead. Charge in. Good. Real messy action, this one. But still. The day is won. The enemy defeated. And at least <laughs> it's another... Uh, Dutch army that can't really oppose us. Supposition by Sipahi. Doesn't really matter. Victory is a victory. <clears throat> but right, I am going to want to scoot around all my armies to make sure they're all in tip-top condition. Looks like we don't get Strasbourg. It's still held by the Dutch. That's okay. They're all massing anyway. Ah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I so my, the advice was good. Uh, my idea was rubbish because I gave it to Britain, and without checking if Britain was at war with Prussia, it turns out they were. So Prussia got Venice. That's not ideal. Ooh, yes, we are going to want to fight this. Let's send this colonial army back to Guatemala. To be honest, after you take Guatemala, I may be inclined to try and seek peace. I am not so bothered about pushing up through Central America now as I was previously. Uh, we may have a large war in Europe kicking off imminently. So, yeah, I have to focus my attention there. Excellent position, though. Put one bug gun team up here. So we don't know where the enemy reinforcements are coming in from. So we're going to do a slightly angled defence. I'm going to hedge my bets and say what? Oh, not right there. Mm. One set of artillery stay there for now. These are my ranged reserve. Got my melee troops. Get my cavalry out of the way. So then my actual melee reserve, I'm pretty sure the Sikh warriors and this unit of pikemen. Okay, no surprises. So you Friend lobed here. Let's commit my range reserve. Twelve pounders, twelve pounders, twelve pounders. So these guys are going over to this piece of high ground here. Maybe bring. Camels and cavalry over on the flanks. It looks like cavalry, infantry, 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 set of guns, general, cavalry. So let's focus on individual gun teams. Cavalry, trap or shot the first light horse, if you please. Excellent hit. Yeah, they've decided it is not in their interest. New men may shrapnel on the general's bodyguard.
ultimately I can send skirmish cavalry around to deal with this artillery. Good hit. Yeah, let's go for the Mount Tribal Auxiliary. Canister shot. Good hit. Colonial Light Cavalry be engaged by my camels. We're going to get a volley of arrows. Ceasefire. Pivot slightly forward so you can engage the enemy. Infantry that's pushing up. Oh, good hits. Okay, where's my skirmish cavalry? Push it hard. Unlimber with shrapnel shot. Engage enemy ahead. You can canister shot just the militia ahead of you. Good stuff. Mow down this native musket auxiliary unit because they're just a skirmish unit. You may get intercepted by the light cavalry, but that's okay. Good hits. Focus the focus the shrapnel fire on the units that are attacking the centre of the line. Push forward, horsemen. Yeah, they're aware of our the, our uh, danger to their artillery. That's why they're committing a lot of their cavalry towards us. But keep the pathfinding true. Firing over your heads, luckily. Come on, you're engaging the artillery crews, not the cavalry and so on. I mean, that's the general's bodyguard. That's not a bad target of opportunity. Okay, let's get the cavalry involved in this one. You may switch to round shot and engage the fifth. Engage. It's human fire well. Human. Shot fire at will. Huzzah! Oh, colonial light cavalry reinforcements. I'm fairly sure this Zimandari horseman unit is going to go down. So sending more infantry back. Cut your way through the general's bodyguard. That's, that would be your target of the two. Native bowmen, artillery. Okay, where's this gun team? Camels go for the bowmen. Horsemen come after the guns. This gun gonna go after the sixth. I mean, they are definitely going down, but we're getting some good kills. Native Bowman Auxiliary on the flank. Go get him, pikemen. Emin Modal, the Native Bowman Auxiliary. 
So you want to go after this gun team, then go after the 12 pounders to the rear. Advance up our line. You're going to engage troops a bit closer to home. Take them down. You're getting fired upon. Two men left. So the Mazimandari horsemen they got caught out are on their own. They did good. Oh, you guys are just out of reach. Push you down the hill. Big mistake. Huge. Pull back. Yeah, re recall the cavalry. Let's recall the camels. Please send Kalani or Cav to help them. The, the unit that Pokemon likes to see more than any other. You can try and charge my infantry in the rear if you like. Oh, they're firing. They're shots that missed and hit the cavalry. Actually caused them to waver and get very upset. Oh, they're pursuing my camels. Camels turn and fight. Muskimmon chase down the irregulars. These gunners can limber up and redeploy to face this direction. You're chasing down my Sikh Musketeers. That is a bold move. Oh, shot your general out of the saddle. Maybe recall the cavalry. Excellent. Stand to oh yes, you're within shrapnel range. Shrapnel the Bowman Auxiliary. Limber the guns. No, the irregulars broke. Shrapnel shot coming in. Oh, detonated too early. Good hit. Detonated too early. And you should focus on the 14th, I suppose. As the infantry is pushing in, pushing into their deaths. Good hits. I believe that's all of it for now. I was going to say, there's no way you outrange my infantry, but you've also got shrapnel support. Throw the light cavalry forward, throw the camels forward. Switch targets. Native Bowman. Engage the 24th. Bravo, 
Yeah, he shouldn't have stuck around. So they re-engage the 15th. You're going to kill just a good number of them, and then pull back. Pikeman, charge down the Bowman Auxiliary. You are going to shrapnel with the 15th, because they're now within range. Push my line forward. Give my cavalry some support. General bodyguard, he's a slippery devil. So you charge in to also help my camels. You are going to do likewise. You're going to push up. Guns engage the 15th. Volley into the general's bodyguard. Push on into them. Yeah, native bowman auxiliary. We're going to go down to an, well, that's another bow auxiliary unit that my pikemen are going to deal with. How about you? The enemy. Infantry's on the run. Like though, this is going to be GG. So let's go after their infantry, ceasefire, all guns. Yeah, chop down more of their infantry. But I think I would like to get peace with New Spain after taking Antigua because I don't really want to be fighting in the Americas anymore. I want to try and dedicate all my support into attacking or getting ready for a war in Prussia. Because if I know the AI, the AI will just completely aggro me now. Now they've got a border, they're going to be very unhappy. And they may not do it immediately, they may take a turn or two, but they, they will do it. That's what the AI does. So you're going to escape? Yes. Close victory. I don't I wouldn't say it was close. We did pretty good. We did pretty good. Yeah, we lost 935 men. They lost more than 3,000. Okay. So they've taken the territory this turn. So it won't be... So we've got at least one turn of breathing space. At least one turn. So let's get ready. Quick lime shells again. That doesn't really help us. Natural causes for one of my generals. Ah, it's one of the ones that's now in Europe. Even okay. Let's do some upgrading. Brussels is fortified. Get the madrasas upgraded. Upgrade, well, get them upgraded to try and spawn more priests. Same with Bologna. Teamen are all still replenishing. Got bugged artillery and a bugged general unit. You're waiting for your cavalry to arrive. You're replenishing. You're replenishing. Let's bring you up. Okay, let's maybe pull you back to the bridge. Because that's a full strength Russian unit. Uh, or a Dutch unit rather than a depleted one. Push you guys up ahead of the weakened army. Do you have a general in there? Nope. You have plenty of generals though. Let's see if we can take some out. Excellent. 
Seamen replenish. <clears throat> Again, I'm not super bothered about pushing pushing the Dutch until we're about to win, effectively. You men push up to Strasbourg. Then let's do the fleet arrives stuff. Three armies. Oh, this is this is this general that died. You're not repaired. You men are in. <clears throat> Get your troops over across the sea. <clears throat> right. Increase mass at the front line, then probably as these ships are deployed let's bring them stack them in bilbao yeah when the time comes it will be brutal because they're gonna have all the advances that i normally have and this time i do not And then we've got Britain as a constant thorn in our side. So one thing I would very much like to make ready is my make sure is ready is my navy. Because right now we've got pretty good naval superiority. But what I would like is naval supremacy. For example, we've got well, there's a good Prussian army navy here, which I would like to take out. If we do fight Prussia, I'd be less inclined to attack here. I may be more inclined to raid her ports and at the Adriatic as well, but the Adriatic I can bottle up with this force because you can no longer you can no longer uh, raid this trade route. Let's have a look at Portugal actually. Portugal. Friendly. Allies with the Dutch and Britain, so I don't really want to fight them. But at least we can block we can block the access to the Adriatic here with this fleet. You are on your way to getting more ships. Although actually you're probably... Yeah, that'll probably be enough ships for you. You're at full strength. You require one ship, so let's get a first-rate ship of the line. For you, because you want to take... That's another Russian navy we'd like to... Was it with the steamship in it? But we'd also have to block off the Baltic so that way pressure's kind of hemmed in. And then we've got access to all of the elements that we need to complete naval operations. So let's take you. Go for Antigua. I mean, we've already yeah, we've, we fought that army effectively last time. So let's fortify it, let's replenish upgrade the infrastructure. Get rid of the shipyard. So then, New Spain. Request peace. Yes. Ah! Oh, right. I was attacking it. Teleco. Unfortunate, but not the end of the world. We're not bothered about attacking the Cherokee, although it will be over next turn, one way or another. Anyway. Eat arrives. Eat arrives. That's all done. Recruitment continues in Egypt. You're recruiting two men, but I'm not sure from from where. Probably. Oh, it's the dervishes, is it? Because they are running up. Suspect it. I suspect it was probably dervishes. Your 
Yes, it was. So I don't care. Let's move one of our generals out. You're recruiting two. Right. Fairly sure. Okay, that's how it should be. You're recruiting two guns. We really screwed up the recruitment here. Something like that, and then. Three, four. One, two, three, four. With our fellow musketeers, I'd like to get some more Kurdish hillmen. So in this instance, if I'm not going to be attacking here, I probably want some of these armies to help land maybe at Venice and push into this little wedge here. Because right now we've got a good defensive position over the river. So I wouldn't necessarily want to push towards Venice. Yes, me, Lord. I mean, these guys are all going to fortify. Well, these, these guys are going to replenish before they can push anyway, so that's going to be resolved. Okay, let's go back to India. I don't think Jodhari. We don't have any new enemies that we can really bully off of their trade zones. Yeah, that's Genoa. Here at the East Indies, we've gone around here before. Let's bring you out. So these are my top tier naval forces. They're ready to rotate around the world as they need to. These Jebeks are going to transfer to Europe for raiding purposes. It's another army that we can ship over to Europe. Your recruitment is not done, but on the way. Okay, good. You are pushing down to here. Interesting. I must have lost some Sea Musketeers somewhere. Well, this is going to be a fun army. General's bodyguard, camel gunners. Nine slots, you've got two, three, four melee infantry, so it's probably going to be something like that. Good, then you'll be ready to ship. So let's move new men out. Do something like this. Keep building up another navy. So I don't think we can really stop. Yeah, Guatemala was a good get. Uh, let's get... We don't need two boarding houses. Although we could probably do with these being... Um, one religious building, one industrial building. Let's fortify Antigua as well. Push you men out. One of you dispatched towards Antigua itself okay let's see if we get another turn or not that's the main thing peace treaty signed with new spain let's see if we get peace for another turn with the prussians or whether or not they go for us looks like they may attempt to do some raiding Well, I suspect anyone they send... I mean, that's an auto, surely. Hurrah! Hurrah! 
you can raid if you like. Actually, it looks like, it looks like that's what they're going to do. Oh, I was gonna. Small. I was wondering if you would do anything. Uh, let's withdraw. See, their armies are actually getting more cohesive now. But let's see if Prussia does it. Ally at all. So they've gone after Georgia with all of Georgia's. That's actually really perfect because that could draw in a load of people. I'm going to enter war on the side of Ally because George has been a good ally to me. If it's going to happen, I want it to happen with all my friends involved. I mean, I know George is not a massive ally, but if Russia gets involved, which I think they have based on the movement of Prussian forces north, Russia may be involved. Yes, Russia's involved. Yes. That's really good. Really, really good. So now suddenly, Prussia's at sixes and sevens going, oh no, what do we do? How do we handle this? That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Right. So. Denmark. Yes, and Denmark's on. Oh, yes. All of Georgia's protectorates are involved now. All the little nations are on our side. Oh, we're being attacked by the garrison of Chikasa. That's fine. Let's do this. In a way, not taking New Spain or the New Spanish territory is okay because it will stay perpetually weak, it being a colony. And it will also. It means our front line in the Americas is a bit cleaner. We're not pushing northward in some random blob. We have a bit of a, an actual east-west line being built. But yeah, I'm I'm very happy with with the uh, with the decision of the Prussians to attack Georgia and her many allies. So we're going to advance because we have no immediate threats in this theatre. So we can afford to be a bit risky and take a bit of damage. Mercenaries on the right. Lancers on the right. Camel gunners on the left. Camera in the centre. Great gun. Back here. Oop, no, just the great gun. Native Warrior Auxiliary can escort my guns up. I mean, that's quite a good result, too. I really need to get ahead of that rock formation, but I don't really want to. The great guns are getting on with their noble work. I'm going to split my melee units up. Everyone's on the move. You can attack as much as you like. In fact, you are doing some good damage to my heavy cavalry. My great guns haven't actually scored any hits yet. I aim for this unit of native artillery so any misses that skew left or right or hit other targets. Run up into formation because the chief's bodyguards are sniffing around. Okay, the bowmen will provide close support for the guns. They are still hidden, but I always get the feeling the AI, the AI knows where they are anyway. That's the feeling I've always got. Yeah, I'm tribesman, I'm tribesman, I'm tribesman, I'm tribesman. There's going to be a whole load of bowmen somewhere.
you men are going to want to run into formation. That's one unit of bowmen discovered. You're not going to get there in time. I don't think all the bowmen are there. Some of them are, for sure. Okay, you and Limber, canister shot. Come on, show me your musket sounds. I'm gonna say. Indy warriors get in there. My troops get in there, because Obashi get in there. You men get into the Hindu warriors, camel mercenaries, go for the guns. You men mow down the Native American warriors. Hindu warriors are doing a number on these troops. Cavalry, what chance do they have? All gunners switched to round shot, engage the chief's bodyguard, including the great guns of this massive range. It's a lot of artillery slamming home there. Push on into the garrison native bowmen. Yeah, they're, now they're under attack. They don't want to stick around. Guns. Well, they walked these guns right into us. Hello. Native American warriors have returned. Hey, they killed one of my elephants. You men barrel down into these tribesmen. I mean, this Lance Cavalry has just done a real number on them. And it will continue to do so. The native Lancers are up front, 111th. Yeah, they aren't happy with that either. Excellent. See you later, Cherokee. It's the end of your dynasty. And another crucial... Well, crucial factor, isn't it? It's another intern nation. Oh, Wurttemberg. Colin's being Colin. If only oh, Prussia drew in... Uh, Britain, that would have been brilliant. But I am very glad to see that they are now at war with Russia. And we should get an announcement up here that says alliance broken between Russia and Russia. Construction report. Now, let's do some good old fashioned construction. Because we do need 
Uh, yeah, especially now we've lost a bunch of our trade income. Interesting, that flag screwed up there. Yeah, so they're, they're sending guys around to try and do some raiding. That's okay. So we're probably going to push through here. Take Milan. Threaten Turin. Although you probably could just run over here. Just because raiders are annoying. You just stop the raiders from going anywhere. Okay, Pleasure Gardens, Iron Master's Forge, Industrial Mining Complex. You men, guard the bridge across the Rhineland. You men lay siege to Amsterdam. Amsterdam, we will not attack it, we will siege it. You men will raid Utrecht. You men will back up the River Rhine crossing. You men will cross over into, into Amsterdam. Again, I'm very happy with this defensive position. If they want to come at us, they can. Uh, the, the recruitment report. I've got obviously lots of good recruitment. Trades gained. Lots of good stuff. Region captured. Alsace Lorraine. Region captured. Cherokee territory. She should ever so quickly demolish the Council of Elders. Upgrade the mine. Demolish the meeting hall. Upgrade the cobbled roads. Try exempt them from tax. It's unlikely that they will come into the fold anytime soon. Cotton or tobacco? Cotton is the best. It's curious you haven't got that announcement. Where is Prussia? Yeah, that war with Russia, Mysore, Britain, Dagestan, Georgia, Württemberg, Denmark, and the Plains Nations. Württemberg will be a real kick in the knackers for them, although it depends what Bavaria is up to. Because Bavaria may be... Yeah, Bavaria is blocking Württemberg from being able to do stuff. Unless Württemberg have... Well, they must have access to cross their... Permission to cross their lands, because lots of Württemberg troops have gone. So now we've we've ruined this, we've ruined Rotterdam. You are going to actually sail to Cuxhaven to bottle up their fleet. You are going to we're going to put a sloop into Rotterdam. We need a mob to guard Antwerp. These two, these two are in reserve. Potentially to attack against Britain. Paris is currently quite Protestant, but it will slowly be chipped away. 94 million people in Paris. Probably want... This battle fleet. You know what? Let's just shut down crossing. Shut down passage through the strait. No one gets through. Nobody gets through. It's another admirable ad admiral. You take over the raiding. This force head eastward into the Med. Let's use this unit. We'll recruit another mob. But we're embarking this levy. This levy is going to deploy off of the coast here. Yeah, 
then you will blockade the port. Then next turn you will attack Heracleon, force them out into the open sea, where we'll engage them in naval but in naval action, try and secure... Actually, we may just cash the fleet in, to be honest. You're preventing their crossing here in Istanbul, which I think is worth doing. At least until these... If these armies move off to attack Russia, then we'll cross. Same here, really. Keep an eye on what's going on. She wears all my... Don't really need an agent here anymore. Get you down to... Come on. Drag. Get you down to Athens. Then we're probably going to want to take one of our armies here and begin the squeeze. Okay, we'll have to fight this automatically. Because we'll have to fight this manually because of the reinforcements that are here we don't want to destroy them so looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time as we continue the squeeze and we see how the war with prussia will develop cheers everyone <laughs>